I'm Jim Trotter, and today I'm going to show you how to make synthesized tracks with GarageBand. GarageBand is really useful for making synthesized tracks, and you can make them out of just about anything. Here's how. So once you get GarageBand open up, you're going to want to start with a grand piano here. So open up your loop browser and get one of the green loops here. Green means that it's already pre-synthesized, so it's made by the computer. So just drag it over to the timeline. And you'll see it in the green there. And it sounds like a piano. Now, to synthesize it, go over to the info pane. And you'll see under the browse over here on the left, all kinds of synths. Synth basic, synth lead, synth pad, synth textures. We're going to go with a lead. And you'll see a bunch go, uh, appear over here on the edit side. Uh, let's go with uh, Arcade Synth. Once you select it, you'll notice the piano icon changes to a synthesized keyboard logo. Now go back over here, and you'll notice it's changed to Arcade Synth. Now just back up your track and press play. And you've made your first synthesized track. Now, you can also synthesize other things like pre recorded clips and samples. All right, let's open up your loop browser again. And you're going to want to choose a blue uh, loop over here. Blue means it's already been pre recorded in the studio or whatever. Just drag it over to your timeline. want to put your headphones on for this track so you don't get uh, the other sound from the other track. Now, you've got that uh, rock piano there. Now, all you have to do to synthesize it or change the effects on it, so you're going to want to go over to your info pane again, and you'll notice the browse setting looks a little different now because we're using a pre-recorded sample. So let's go to effects. And uh, you can choose any of these effects here, but we're going to go with uh, Atari Sings. And uh, you'll notice, once again, the icon changes. Back up your track again. And there's how you make synthesized tracks on GarageBand. Hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you make a lot of really awesome synthesized music in the future.